What's up? It's Jordan with Let's Go Birding, and today we're heading into a new habitat up in the mountains at Genesee Park in Evergreen, where we will be joined by Allison Condler, bird song aficionado, who's going to teach us how to identify birds even when you can't see them. An essential skill for any bird watcher, to be sure. So strap on your ear horns and join us up in the mountains. Um, okay, here we are. It's early in the morning, but not like birding early, just like normal early. And we're up at Genesee Park, and we're going to go see some mountain birds. Uh, we have our, our resident guest expert here, Allison, who's going to teach us about sonograms and how to identify birds by their song. I'm, I'm Allison Condler, <laughs> um, birdingbyear.com. Uh, if you want to go on to Facebook and go to Bird Sound ID Group, if you ever want to oh, yeah. know what a bird is, you just take your phone and you record it and then you post mm -hmm. it on there and people identify. I don't even have to identify it anymore. There's so many experts. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm ex thank you for having me yeah, today. All right. Okay, great. All right. Lead the way, Megan. Great. Where, I figured we'd just walk because... I've been up here once before. Yeah, I was up here once almost 10 years ago. Oh, great. Yeah. You guys at a mountain? Little chicken? smokers. Yeah. <laughs> little chain smokers. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> little, little men of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a house over there somewhere. Gosh, I feel so much more like out of my element because we've been doing so many like ducks and then prairie birds and yeah. like little riparian low altitude areas. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also don't go into the mountains That's very often because I always want to go to the prairie. Right, I just yeah. Like them, right? So over here, it sounds sort of like a robin, but mm -hmm. it's not. It's got that, I call it the drunken robin. Yeah. So with the western, t with the western tanager, you're looking for this sound clip. Listen for the perleep. That. That. Oh. Yeah. that is the indicator. Yeah. Okay. But that's a western tanager. And if you think of it as a, re a, a drunken <laughs> robin, and it has the red face, and it burps, and it perleaps. Oh, yeah. That's then it a adds good a, one. Then it adds a little visual <laughs> yeah, yeah. to it. And, not, and that, that, actually, that perleep thing, that perleep, is actually its call. Okay. So if you could just hear that, then that's yeah. another way you can ID it. Very nice. See a hummer? Yep. Ooh, catching Getting bugs. some bugs. Wow, wow look yum. at that. I'd call that a broad tailed. Mm -hmm. So there's a really loud trill yeah. over here. And it's long. It, so when it comes to trills in the mountains, it, there's really only two here. And that's either the dark eyed junco or the uh, chipping sparrow. For the most part, chipping sparrows have a longer trill. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so they're chipping away, but then they have a long break because they're chipping so hard. If you hear just little trill and then trill and trill, more most likely it's a dark eye jump though. Oh yeah, this is a I think it's a golden mantled ground squirrel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do some poses. <laughs> Nice yellow rump warbler just sang up there. It's up there. C C C. I'm up here. Yeah, that's a good one. Mnemonics I find are really helpful for learning bird songs. At least it's, for me. It's very. Yeah. You, it could be anything, and it, if it works for you, that's great. Exactly. Yeah. You can make up whatever you want. Right. And a lot of people don't hear what I hear. Yeah. You know, that's okay. And then I say, "What do you hear?" Is that an elk? It is oh, an yeah. elk. Moving That's to the cool. right, past yeah. this row of rocks. Why is she all by herself? Yeah. You know what? Sometimes someone's just a independent woman. Doesn't need a family. <laughs> don't need now. no herd. <laughs> I don't need no herd. <laughs> Cordy. A Cordy? Oh, I didn't hear that one. Oh. How do you guys pronounce it? Cordillarian. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I pronounce oh, it. Oh, I say Cordillarian, but like yeah, I think that's you can right. say it however you I want. I say Cordillarian. Yeah, we promise it's we won't call right. you out. Someone in the comments might though. Yeah. There's a bunch of little birds here in the prairie field. And a house finch. Oh, baby being fed over here oh. in the bushy. It's a oh, it's a chipping sparrow. It's, I think it might be a cowbird. I'm not sure. It just doesn't look quite right. It looks a little bigger than the parent. You can see, oh, no. the, the, yeah, the baby <laughs> is a cowbird and the adult is a chipping sparrow. Aww. Cowbirds are what's called a brood parasite. 
Should I look at the camera? And uh, bird parasites <laughs> lay their eggs in the nests of other birds, and then the other birds raise their young. Tell them about how the cowbird gets along with their siblings. Oh, yeah. They so do? the cowbirds, once they hatch, <laughs> no. they push the other eggs out of the nest because its oh. incubation period is shorter. But yellow warblers are getting good at identifying the eggs, and sometimes if they see them, they'll build a second nest on top of their first nest. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, maybe some of the chipping sparrows are like, I, I prefer raising cowbirds, actually. I prefer, it's a lot easier. One, yeah. one huge one versus <laughs> yeah, four of my size. The chipping sparrow feeding the cowbird. It, oh, it's right feeding here him, on right the down. ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Look, Look at, at that big. baby. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I still can't hate cowbirds. Look at them. Look at how cute that little guy is. Yeah, he's Aww. just hungry. He's just a bird. Yeah. yeah. There's a little oh, pines of skin down there. Oh. oh. They're like wow. little mo they have little motors. They're tick 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 and they fly. They tick tick tick. This is a nice hey, little look bluebird at, look right at there. Bluebird over there. Oh, very nice. Western. Oh, wow. Beauty. That's a yeah. Cordieran. Yeah. Hey, I said it right. Yeah. Cordieran. <laughs> hey. Cordieran. Well, there was another stupid mnemonic I have for this guy. Party? Party? Oh, and yeah. He's, he's, got the, he's got the almonds, because he's got the almond-shaped eye. Oh, yeah. He's bringing the almonds to the party. There you go. I know, it's, it's out there. No! I, <laughs> I'm like, you just make shit up, and then, like, memorize it, and then forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Wildlife it. biology. Yeah. Hire me. <laughs> Hire me, yeah. I make, make shit, shit up. up. <laughs> The male birds are still singing like crazy. Mm. Yeah. And that's the that's the way to teach the babies. And we would go on these excursion things and they had a whole thing of paintball guns and paintball. And this is before I was a birder. Mm. And we they had all this camo that you could wear, so we're out in the middle of these woods uh -huh. doing paintball stuff. And I just remember it's the first time I met the pygmy nut hatches as I was laying on the ground as a sniper <laughs> and they came down a tree and just I was <laughs> loving the moment uh -huh. and then I went and shot somebody yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the moment that was the moment you became a birder no well like surrounded not a by serious pygmy nut hatches. birder but it was just a moment yeah you know. well that's pretty cool nice Plumbius Virio Plumbius Virio should I I don't know that they ask themselves a question. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I always know. say, I don't know. That's pretty relatable. So if you were looking at the sonograms for Plumbius Vireo and a uh, black-headed grosbeak, you'd be like, no, I don't. don't. So. I can't. I yeah. just, they don't, yeah. I don't. They, so sonograms why, don't make sense to yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I'm going to like the tropics, I find it yeah. a lot easier to remember birds if I like sit and like draw out. Oh, okay. But I don't like usually look at the sonograms. I like draw it out because then I can remember pygmies. Pygmies breed by binary fission? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if they did breed by binary fission, then you would just produce two fledglings yeah. out of one adult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just. <laughs> oh! Is that an Ebert squirrel? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I never see them because I never go in the mountains. Is that Hummer again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do. Pine siskin, He's like uh, the pig from Looney Tunes. Yeah. It's tricky with mnemonics because they, yeah, you could say the pig, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, or whatever. You could yeah, say yeah. put anything to it, and then you go back and you go, damn, what's the guy who goes, -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da? yeah, yeah, I have no like, idea. Who is that? And yeah. So, yeah. It's all about that connection, be that mm -hmm. brain connection between that. Can we like give you this video as like a 40 part TikTok story? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's the olive sided in sight. Oh. Oh, there he is. Right here. I'm right here. Very good. Yeah. Eating some you can't hit the cross, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's just right there. Oh, in the yeah, tree. there he is. Ah, that sounds more like drinker tea than Yeah, it does. 
Drink your green tea. Oh, there's the new one. They're in the parking lot now. Road runner in it up. That was hard to say. Oh, look at this. Which sap slicker pattern is that? I don't know how to tell the difference between Williamson's and Red Naped, but Red Naped, like Aspen's. Oh, okay. So maybe it's Williamson's. I think it's Williamson's. Yeah. Have we Ooh. talked thoroughly about um, how someone can like develop their ear? Well, I think learning birds by ear definitely helps the frustration level. When you're starting out learning birds, just start with the basic ones. Like, um, and it's it's one bird at a time, and it's year after year to actually mm -hmm. learn. For me, it took years to finally get it. And the insecurity. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't even want to talk about the, the second years guessing. Of insecurity. <laughs> That's a, no. <laughs> you know, when people go on my hikes, a lot of them have never even birded by ear. A lot of times. And all of a sudden, their ears open. Mm. And that in itself is an important. And it's really neat to see. Yeah. All of a sudden, people are like, Yeah, and, and you, you start to them. notice things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that helps open up a lot of other areas of your life, too. Mm -hmm. It's not just right, important exactly. life skill. <laughs> Telling your brain to like not filter it all out. Let yourself hear yeah, everything. And it's kind of strange. It's like in my 20s, I didn't even notice them. And all of a sudden, boom. There it is. I know sometimes, <laughs> like, me and Megan are in like a public space. And there's some like baby bird like screaming its head off right next to us. Yeah. yeah. It's just like one bird being like They're crazy. Yeah. Oblivious. For me, it is, it's a slow process and do not expect yourself to know every all of it. Yeah. But for me, putting words to things, putting, vi putting those visuals to things for whatever reason, it helps with a lot of visual learners is to put visuals to sound. And that could be sonogram. That's a, that's a visual way. Mm -hmm. um, mine is story based. Mm -hmm. Mine is visual based. Like this guy, the uh, olive-sided flycatcher. But my brain works in a way that I want to attach it back to that bird. Mm -hmm. And so I hear, martini! Yeah. <laughs> Even though it doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't, but it helps me. And then with an olive on the side to have that little visual. Oh yeah, there you go, that's such just a to great have a little visual. something. Because you were talking about earlier about how you would create a great mnemonic, right? but you had no idea what bird it went with. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like one more step of like separation, but. Mm -hmm. Like, that sounds like happy birthday to you. Yeah. And then later on, what bird sounds like happy birthday to you? <laughs> yeah. You know? But then what's neat about this is, yeah, you can come up with these stories, and then after a while, they fade. Mm -hmm. And then you, you got it. So you don't have mm. to be tortured by all these dumbass stories. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just... You don't have to hear your, like, cheeseburger every time you hear a chickadee right. for the rest of your life. It's just, <laughs> just a chickadee. Yeah. <laughs> the you bridge disappears. It. And mm -hmm. it just becomes a... But that's repetition, and yeah. you have to go out birding a lot yeah. to get that repetition. Yeah. And every spring, and people are like, I don't know, you know, you, it's you true. have to relearn yeah. it. Yeah. Oh but even if you, just re spring. if you remember one from last year, yeah, that's yeah. a huge step. Mm -hmm. It takes years. I mean, in the, when, yeah. er, really early on, I could call them to me. Yeah. Because they're just, they're so hormone induced, <laughs> yeah. and they're just like, like this what? is my Who's territory. That? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was one time I was calling, not, I was actually using a recorder, but it was on a, um, trip at Roxborough I was leading and I played a, a bush tit and it came and landed on my <gasps> hat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's pretty, I mean, callbacks are really powerful. Yeah. They're, they're also really disturbing. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. And I was talking to it and I was like, when he was talking to me, Cooper's hawk. <gasps> oh no. I didn't get it, but it really taught me a big lesson that here he's talking, you know, he's doing something that he should, you know, here's this little chickadee who should be looking out. So that really taught me a big lesson on not playing back too long. Yeah. You know, I wonder if you could find like the best fitting mnemonic for a bird song if you overlaid your waveform of you singing oh the God. mnemonic with the sonogram yeah. and like, find like a better alignment. That feels That's a true. little excessive, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll help you remember it though too because you've got this whole bizarre process. <laughs> Have you ever made like a comprehensive like complete list yeah, like, I've, I started everywhere. writing a book. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And I am halfway done. I mean, I was in a car accident and I wasn't able to move very well, so I got my laptop on this uh -huh. thing and I just laid there nice. and listened to sounds and did mnemonics. That's cool. And so so I do is that going to be like, what, like 700 species when you're done? <laughs> if I ever get done, yeah. <laughs> so I did that for three years. I worked on that thing. Wow. But I use it for my presentation. You know, I use a lot of it in my presentations and yeah. things like that. So. You could just, if you're halfway done, you could just be like, volume one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Release it. Well, you know what I really want to do is do an app. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that make more sense? It yeah. We'll do picture. the like the Sibley method. Release the book and then the app. Yeah. Yeah. Double dip. Double dip. <laughs> well, look at these um, mating. butterflies mating. Mating fritillaries. <laughs> fritillaries? Fritillaries. 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 <laughs> Fornicating fritillary. Oh, my God. There's a brown creeper in here. This is the last place. <laughs> it sounds like a brown creeper Trees. and there's something. Might be on a nest or something. Where do they nest? In a hole too? Cabins? I read that they nest like under pieces of bark. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, what? like loose pieces of bark. I can't even picture a brown creeper nesting. I figured they just had like an ovipositor and just like put it in the bark <laughs> oh, and it just like erupts after really a while. That's really creepy. <laughs> in here somewhere. Trees. Add it to the list. A huge thanks to Allison Condler for joining us on this wacky adventure. And thank you, Allison, for having a backup audio recorder when I forgot my own. That was a lifesaver. If you want to find more about her and get some help birding by ear, visit birdingbyear.com. Also, be sure to check out their Facebook page, facebook.com slash groups slash bird sound ID. Allison is also on TikTok at birding underscore by underscore ear. So the next time you have a mystery bird song that you'd like to identify and build a mnemonic for, reach out to Allison Conley.